The Spetzel Brewery is the oldest craft brewery in Texas and the oldest nationally distributed independent craft brewer. It's also home to Shiner Beer and it's in the heart of Texas barbecue country. Tier Nubam is live at Spetzel Brewery with more. Hey, Tier. Leslie, Casey, good morning to you both. This has already been such a fun morning. We haven't stopped kind of tootling around Spetzel Brewery. There's so much to see and learn here in Tom. This is really neat. We're now in the pilot brewing area. What happens here? This is where it all begins. Craft Brewing's origin here at the Spetzel Brewery. Okay, what we do in here is we take those raw materials, those Texas-grown raw materials, and we brew with them and try to figure out exactly how we want to make it. I mean, you might think of it, you have your special fruit, you have your special nuts, you have your special pecans, but how does that transmit into a, a great beer? Okay, so we spend the time in here. Food scientists are working in here trying to get the, the recipes exactly right and the taste exactly right. And that's what you guys want to do that on a small scale before you're going large scale in producing how many cans of beer every day? Oh, every day. We, 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 we can actually, from a can standpoint, do about 100,000 cans a day. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. And uh, now we're making our way into the next little shop here. Uh, where are we going? We're going into the the, the tape uh, the tasting room, the tap room. Uh, so we, we went from the pilot brewery, so the origins of everything, to the finished product. This is our 1947 tap room. The, it was built right after the war. And uh, we, we, when we're in here, we're, it's really the heritage of the beer. And talking about the old versus the new, all the new products we got coming out. And then we also have Cosmos Original sitting here on tap. Yeah, the Shiner Premium. For somebody that missed it earlier, when did Shiner Beer get started? How did it get started? It got started back in 1909, and Cosmos came in into the brewery uh, around 1914. He came into the brewery, and uh, he's, we've been making beers ever since. And aside from beers, you guys are now distilling spirits. Can you tell us about this? Oh, uh, craft beer, craft spirits, grain to glass. That's who we are. Okay, so all those raw materials that we use to make our beer, we're also able to make spirits. Wow. Because the beginning of a spirit, a lot of people don't realize the beginning of a spirit actually is a beer. I mean, this is just incredible. Okay, so we, we're in the tap room. Now we're heading into a speakeasy. Like, it just doesn't stop here. We got to see them canning the beers. We saw them boxing the beers. And uh, now we're in a little speakeasy. This is pretty cool. This is this is where we actually do all of our tasting uh, for our distillery, all of our spirits. Right now we have vodka, we have gin, and we do make a shine, a moonshine, which the moonshine, what's really neat about it is, it is our bourbon base. Wow. So what you're tasting is the beginning of something that's going to come out two years from now. And on top of all of this, you guys have some really cool sustainability and charitable aspects of the company. Oh, yeah. For the local area here, we, from, from a charity standpoint, we really support uh, the town of Shiner. We have, the town of Shiner has a, a Catholic high school, uh, uh, K through 12, and also a, a, a public grade school. And so we're supporting all those the events that, that's going on. Every small Boy Scout event, we're taking care of. The Christmas parties, we take care of. Uh, so it's, it's all a, just a it's just a family environment. So if you're you're out there and sitting in Austin and you're wondering what to do, uh, especially on the weekend, we're open seven days a week. Come and see us. Tours on the hour. Every tours hour. on the hour. We have two types of tours. You got the brewery tour and you have the distillery tour. So uh, whatever you're, wow. you're, whatever you want, we're hey, we're here to make you happy. You guys are doing a lot, and uh, it does feel like family when you come here. Thanks for having us this morning and uh, showing us around. They even have barbecue. You're not going to leave hungry either. We'll check that out in the next hour. Of good day, Austin. But for now, I'll send it back to you. Yeah. All right, gotta leave us waiting for the food. Barbecue. <laughs>